Hi, these info sessions are part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. But before going further in any downstream use, we need to have a clear overview of the different data access points available. In this module, I will show you how to use a catalog browser to download sa satellite data. The objectives of this submodule are to provide you with an overview of access of the satellite data available under Copernicus, focus on where to find Sentinel-2 and Sentinel-3 data accessible to anybody, and a presentation of the registration process. And finally, to show you how to download Copernicus satellite data with a focus in, on Sentinel-2 and Sentinel-3. This slide provides you with an overview of the Copernicus access points. There are 10 of them, four providing access to satellite data with access to images in near real time or to the past archives. Over the four dedicated access points, two are managed by the European Space Agency, while the two others are handled by UMEDSAT. In this particular info session, we will discuss on the scientific hub managed by ESA. This scientific hub is full, free and open to anybody and gives access to Sentinel-1, 2 and 3 through a graphical user interface. More than 1,000 new products are published every day. You can even search, browse, discover and visualize the data without any registration. Registration is only needed when you want to download the data. In the graphic user interface of the scientific data hub, you can define an area and period of interest. You can specify the Sentinel mission and any parameter related to the satellite imagery. The search results show the metadata of the image and the thumbnail. The images can be downloaded directly, although limited to two images at the same time. To automate the download, you can also use a second access mechanism, the API Hub, we are not going to describe it now, but you will find more information on the, this API hub on the ESA website or on the dedicated info session. In this video, you will first, I will first show you that all the necessary information is available through the ESA website. You can find plenty of useful information concerning the missions available, user guides, technical information on the data, and you can also search by thematic areas. I definitely invite you to have a look at the data access news that will provide you with the up-to-date information. That's where you learn that new images for Sentinel-3 are available, for example. But beside this generic information, the most interesting remains the data access navigator. I remind you that the basic principle of most of the Copernicus access is that you can browse and discover the catalogue and you can even visualize the products without any registration. You will need to register only when you want to download the data. In this video, you can see that the registration process is a standard process. Now let's download Sentinel-2 data. The usual way to do so is to draw a region of interest that will show the images that are covering partly or entirely your area. In this case, I've chosen to do it in a different way, to show you the wealth of images available. I just wrote that I wanted Sentinel-2 data, and the results show me 7,000 pages of images available. These images are available just to click away. For each image, you can select the image, zoom in it, have access to the metadata and technical details, which instrument, which date of acquisition, the thumbnail, etc. You can add it to your cart and finally, if logged in, as I did in this demonstration, you will be able to download the image. In this second video, I will show you the same process, but we will focus on Sentinel-3 images. You will see that it takes less than two minutes from your search engine to the download of any image. So, I just look for the scientific hub and login. Once I entered the portal, on the top left menu, I will choose Sentinel-3 images only. At the time of the making of this video, only a few samples of images were available. Now that I received the data access news feed from ESA, I know there are plenty of Sentinel images every day.
you see that even on the samples, I can browse the images, get all the information I need on them to be sure they fit my needs. And finally, download them just by clicking on the bottom right array of the window. That's it. Give it a try. You have downloaded your first satellite image in less than two minutes. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps.